Dear friends, this is the second half of introduction to our Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma Foundation Rishikesh. So here we begin. Under whose protection Adolf Hitler was progressing on and on and on if it was not Unity Mitford or Eva Brown whose power it was? If it was not under the safe patronage of love of Clara Patricia, who was the savior of Mussolini after all those havocs, who is saving Rahul Gandhi again and again. He was arrested in the United States of America with illegal drugs and big money and a girl with illicit relations. Although Atal Bihari Vajpayee, then Prime Minister of India, did that stupidity to get him released from U.S. prison. Uh, if you remember the headlines of those days newspapers, same Rahul Gandhi after his release from prison coming to India started working on rooting out Atal government and, and they succeeded. Second time when he gang raped Sukanya and making her whole family disappear, although he knows the rate of buying Supreme Court judges, he escaped without blood. Every time he made baseless attacks on Modi ji and army of the nation and many desh drove efforts all these eight years. Last year, they were to be arrested almost. ED had caught them, but, but uh, no one knows how they were saved. He is married with two teenager kids whom he raises uh, secretly in, uh, in, in England. And, and Subramanyam Swami reported the matter to Supreme Court judges, but even then Supreme Court did not take it seriously. They suppressed the case. All these nine years of his, uh, his, his stumbling life, he committed so many serious offenses against our army and majority elected a mature Prime Minister of India. He was just going to be arrested by ED after raid a few months ago, but don't know what settlement took place. He is still in his old mysterious way of hijacking the country by Hukar Tuk. The same way the Kejri and the Mamta and Achilles and CPM are other dangerous villains harming and destroying India and her gorgeous, glorious heritage. Modi and BJP and RSS are mini-villains which are trying to do good for nation, but due to immense stupidity, they are hurting the nation and destroying our culture and heritage. They are killing cows in large scale, use of harmful fertilizers in the fields, converting Hindu holy places into tourist spots with brothels and, and wine shops and giving too much powers to the Mlechas in the name of Vikas are the main reasons why Hindus are disliking RSS and Modi and BJP. It is resulting in loss of Hindu votes. Instead of fixing the gap by stopping cow slaughter and not converting their holy places into adultery and wine culture rooted tourist spots. Modi engaged Mohan Bhagwat in stupid talks as RSS's non-Hindu community and making even mullah and missionary munch and breaking Hindus in caste. This way we Savarkar's predictions coming true when Congress converts into Muslim League, I mean, Congress becomes as harmful for the country as Muslim League, RSS product, now BJP, will turn into 
Congress like Hindu destroying cult. So this was his prediction. Now it is coming true. Looks like. So what is the power behind Rahul Gandhi still unarrested, doing all great crimes? So what is the power behind Modi ji being cow slaughter supporter and and historic temple breaker? Uh, temple destroyer and being Tirtha violator, empowering Blechhag in the homeland of the Hindus. Still, he is world's powerful leader and successfully earned respect for India on international level. My dear friends, it is a Zen Koan. This is a Zen Koan. If you can spot out the correct answer from within. Then you are eligible to experience Brahm. Okay, so this is your IQ test. The astounding miracles. Okay, this only serves to illustrate the immense power inherent in even a single ray of the brilliant effulgence of Brahmic power. The astounding miracles of the long-lived Bogarnath and 18 Siddhas and Gorakhnath and the Ninth of Yogis and Babaji Nagraj and, and, and Vamakshepa and Ramakrishna Paramahansa and Swami Vivekananda came on and uplift mankind again and again still. They tell us over and over that these miracles originate from God experience alone. A state of godliness and this godliness is Brahma experience. If birds love St. Francis so much, if John of Arc is so intense in her aspiration, if St. John of the Cross writes so many poems on the prison walls, and if we Savarkar writes so many wonderful stuff on the prison wall in Andaman that even in pain and torture, heat and cold, thirst and hunger cannot make them flinch, then certainly that is that is very close to Brahmic experience, my dear friends, blooming in disguise. Changing names and forms and messages, it keeps emerging and submerging in the ocean of isness, isness of existence. It is the same Brahm which manifested its glory and grace and wealth in ancient civilizations of thousands of years. It is the same Brahm which appears in the salutations of Christians and 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 mumblings of Buddhists and Taoists. It is the same Brahma manifesting in the acts of charity and love offerings. Um, and, and my dear friends, leading beyond, beyond donor and donated, beyond lover and beloved, beyond helper and helped, when you have gifts to your family on Christmas Eve and rejoice the sensitive feelings of seeing their faces shining with joy, then when you extend your sensitivity to perceive it as, as Brahmic experience, very close to Brahmic experience, Mm, which is shining out, then you understand properly, but you miss it time and again because you are not informed and educated in this art and science of life's mystery. Here we are creating a possibility for you to have this opportunity because as long as you miss fail and avoid this Brahmic experience so long, it will keep coming up as mental diversions, escapes from reality and ultimately series of problems and sufferings. Freedom fighters of India, like Chandrasekhar Azad and Bhagat Singh and Subhash Chandra Bose, had an intense fire of patriotism burning in their heart. This undercurrent of 
patriotism beneath all their activities manifested as the independence fight success or failure don't matter staying undaunted upon the celebrated decision is all that counts people deceived and betrayed did jaychandi and time gaddari are help and cooperated staying duty bound it is not of much importance my dear friends what is important is how much you stayed firm unaffected unmoved by outer trivials and and how much you remain unhateful and non complaining non grumbling non critical and unblaming that is very important and being this inside you performed your action whatever you plan to do yes that's what krishna says padma patra nivam vasa kurvan neve karmani jije vishesh chatam sama that's what upanishad says then that much brahm you earned within you okay that much bank balance you have deposited and that is that is your real asset mm, when you are dying that is going to go with you because that much pure and clean you have been able to make your media media okay your senses your mind your heart your ego have to be transparent because that is what which are going going with you after death after the body is left after the building and the wife and the kids and your prestige is left in the world these are going to go with you so they are to obey right now refine them certainize them use neem so up introspection and contemplation upon wise ideas and yoga practices and meditation study bhagavad gita and 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 my dear saint upanishada shrimad bhagavatam this will make your spiritual muscles tighter and stronger and life's burden will become lighter then your two wings practice of deep meditation and experience of mystic charms will grow longer so that you can fly into the eternal sky of consciousness brahmic consciousness how you feel when you win a fortune wheel the lottery an olympic game when you graduate when you just marry when you have your first child when you get whatever best you wanted for so long whatever happens inside is a timeless levitating joy a breathless peace and this is the alphabet you are learning of brahm i was speaking to a swami of iskon who with sri prabhupad when he went to preach in america about krishna consciousness he was telling me first time when he was dancing in kirtan in front of prabhupad on the on the stage and, and many thousands of people were had gathered it was first time and he danced and danced and danced and danced so so intensively that he said i forgot myself dance was happening i forgot and kirtan and i forgot myself and i forgot everything everything was absorbed in krishna experience in my heart thousand people disappeared all faces disappeared all sound disappeared but one thing remains the expansive mm, sweet love of krishna remain and each one mm, has to work hard to get the doctoral degree to stay in the pure consciousness and make it cosmic make it cosmic eyes okay 
and that is the experience of Brahma within in a state of mystic trance and living it in and through all aspects of life until everything dissolves into Brahma and your whole inside shuts out Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. This all, this entirety is Brahma, not apart from me. It is me, myself. Verily, Brahma alone is no diversity but unity, and this unity is eternal and constant. Diversity is only projected, just like light and sound create motion pictures upon a movie screen. A quickly moving pen creates a circle, a vapor, and light makes a rainbow. Clouds appear as maps of the United States. America, Canada, Europe, and India, people, places, and things, and in your sleeping mind, dreamscapes and figures arise and take life. Same way, upon the spatio time, vast expansion of Brahma, this world is projected. But in order to attain Brahma, you have to start working upon yourself, finding everything projected upon your true self. And your true self is like clean mirror. Somehow your desires have reflected and positive and negative desires nipped and interwoven have made iron destiny. And this has presented to you such a life which Mm. Cannot, you cannot conceive as your own choice. Many times in adversity, you feel victimized, a prey target of some mighty monster living somewhere in the sky, invisibly. Some Saturn, some devil, some say it is time, others say it is karma, others say it is, it is, it is providence. Hard. Luck. Still others call it destiny or, or providence. There are those positive thinkers who call it God. But Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma advises you that nobody has done it nor is doing it. Neither God nor devil is responsible for the good and bad that happens to you. Nor are you responsible either. This all is just appearing to you like this and it appears like this. Whether good or bad is your own projection due to misunderstanding. For this misunderstanding again, Neither you are responsible, nor God, nor the world, nor anybody. Just the reason is just that you did not know it. You are like an innocent child. No matter who you become, a president of America, a scientist, a big tycoon, a philosopher, a philanthropist, you are just a baby and all mm, you all you have to be informed dreaming 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 all along but now got to get away due to repeated misunderstanding no sense that misunderstanding is and what it is not fits of fibers of misunderstanding created this world scene of what you view as life. My dear friend, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma Foundation sets the perspective right. It, it, real, it makes you realize from stereotype to a gloriously panoramic view of life. Thank you very much. See you later.